Well, let's turn to our phone lines because Barbara is waiting to speak with you. Barbara, uh, so glad that you're calling in tonight. We are here to help. If you will, go right ahead with your question. My question is, as you mentioned earlier, um, and getting a divorce, do you have to have an attorney when there is no children involved or no property between the two of you? Sure. Um, I mean, do you have to have one? I would say the answer is no. Should you have one? I would say yes anyway, because the reason for that is you still have a lot of forms and documents that you have to, to go through. Even if you don't have children or a lot of finances, if you don't do it correctly, the court's going to kick out your divorce or your settlement agreement and you're going to have to refile. And it sometimes it may be more expensive when you come in after you've tried it several times on your own and then go obtain a lawyer. So, I mean, you can get, I think, a lawyer for a reasonable amount of money if there's not any disputes and it may be uncontested as we call it. So. And Catherine, like Barbara's describing, a, a divorce is not very complicated. It doesn't have to be expensive, does it? No, not always. No, it can be, um, if the parties can agree, um, and there's not a lot of assets, or there's not, maybe there's not children involved, like she stated. No, it doesn't have to be a complicated, drawn-out process. It's just making sure you've got all the filings correct. Um, it's more than just one document that you file with the court. So. Well, Barbara, thank you so much for calling in with your question.